How many times has someone asked you, what do you do for a job then? And you want to tell them you're a web designer, but there might be a bit of hesitation in your voice or how you deliver it. Now, many of you out there are going to go, I have no hesitation. I'm very proud of being a web designer or a developer, and I don't care what anyone thinks. I have to be honest. Sometimes when people ask me, I kind of think about how do I best say this? Because I can't be the only one who has noticed that when you say to someone you're a web designer, they kind of look at you in a little bit of a like, hmm, okay, hmm. And then they might say something like, oh, that must be an easy job, right? You know, you just put a few things together and it's on the website. That's pretty simple. And that's because some of them are very much influenced by what they see on TV and adverts. GoDaddy adverts, one-on-one -on -one hosting adverts, all of them, they make out it is so simple. On the radio, we have one, two, three Reg adverts all the time. Hey, for one pound, you can get your website online. It sounds so simple. So when you say, hey, I'm a web designer, people automatically think, well, it must be really easy. You just sat in the corner of your bedroom. In fact, you're not even in the corner of your bedroom. You've literally carved out the brick and you've stuck your head in. It's that, you know, that's, you don't need much estate. You just go tick, 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 and the website's created. If you don't agree with that, please go and put it in the comments. And when I say do not agree, I'm not talking about the brick in the corner of the room carved out. I'm talking about the opinion of others of you as a web designer or a developer. And what contradicts that kind of view is how... So many companies and people out there rely on websites for business, for advertising, for marketing. I mean, come on, Apple website? How many of you have not gone to the Apple website or lots of other websites out there to look at clothes or just products or tech or gadgets? We do it all the time, right? Booking holidays. But we always seem to have, and I say we as in the world, we seem to have a bit of this like inferior view of like what we think web designers are. You know, go, oh yeah, that's all you do. So how can we change that? Well, rather than now saying I'm a web designer or a web developer, or we run a web agency or we have, it's, it, it, I mean, I'm going to go on a tangent here very quickly. It's a bit like me saying, oh, yeah, I help create YouTube videos as well and an influencer. The minute you say that, people go, oh, I bet you just sit there putting on mascara and you go, what? Where did the mascara come into it? Often the amount of effort that we put in for videos or designing websites, or speaking to clients, or writing proposals, investigating plugins, solutions, all of this stuff just gets lost. I mean, if you ever say to anyone, oh yeah, we're looking into plugins, they kind of go, why? What's wrong with your electric, your charges? It's like your, your charger broken? What's going on here? And believe me, I've spoken to many people that work in IT that have nothing to do with websites and even they look down. They almost think that plugging a print, a cable into a printer is more sophisticated and complicated than designing a website. Believe me, it happens. So here's what you can do. Rather than just saying, hey, I'm a web designer, and I would love for you to start ramming home in the comments what you would be calling yourself, okay? I'd love to, let's put the ideas down, okay? So don't just say web designers, say this. I design digital solutions to help businesses maximize revenue, to increase revenue, to double revenue, to go beyond their competition. It's almost like I'm giving you the words that you could almost start sticking into your LinkedIn or your social media profiles. It's almost like a headline that you could stick on your website. Don't just say, I'm Imran, I'm a web designer, I like Star Wars. No, maybe you do design digital marketing. And I'm not trying to give you words or to misrepresent what web designers are. There's no, if you're happy to go out there and say, hey, I'm a web designer and you're okay with that, that's fine. But if you almost want to bring the problem solving and the solutions you bring to the table all within the title, why not? It's happened in Britain quite a lot over the last 15 years. So many jobs that had a certain title, they were changed. And a lot of people kind of were a bit like, oh, you just made it fancier to make it sound bigger than it is. And you could argue that saying you design digital solutions to help businesses maximize revenue is a fancier way of saying website designer. But isn't that the point of the website? And aren't you the one providing the digital solution? Aren't you the one thinking of the best plugin to use and the best way to present it? Unless, of course, you, you just work on pixel perfect designs. Here you go, go and build a website that looks like that. Okay, fine, I'll just do that and someone else does all the thinking for you. That's different. 
But if you're the one putting a lot of thought and time into it, hey, let's shout about it. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'm a digital design solution problematic thingy midgy person. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.